All right, welcome to today's vlog. Uh, I'm running to work right now, trying to get in, and I thought what we'd do today is talk just a little bit about technology, because, you know, like everyone else on the planet, I'm gonna do a little Tuesday tech review. Um, and I wanted to talk about my gimbal, because I'm pretty happy with it. There's a few things that I think are uh, missing or not quite up to uh, what I would want, but that's no complaint really. Um, it's so I have the the Evo gimbals, Evo Pro smartphone gimbal, and I have the mount for my GoPro for it. And um, as you can see, I'm walking right now, and it's pretty smooth. And I am a bigger man, so I jiggle plenty, and I am holding it out a little ways, so you would kind of expect it to have a fair amount of moving. Uh, a movement, but it's pretty good. Um, but the only big complaint I have with it, because we got to focus on the negatives, right? Because if we're if we're critical, then things get better in the future. Because when we know it's wrong, we know how to fix. Um, is there is uh, noise on the gimbal? Like I can't hear it right now. I don't hear it at all. But when I go and do the audio for this, and I'm recording audio on my phone because I don't have any other microphone source at the moment um, when I record the audio there will be I don't know if it's a vibration from the motors or if it's a frequency thing but there will be noise a hum in, in fact here's what it sounds like so it's pretty interesting um, so if you're if you're looking at getting a gimbal uh, I do recommend this one. It's great if you're looking for something low cost because it's under $150. It works great. Get smooth shots. But if you're going to be recording audio on the device that's on the gimbal, I would recommend either getting an external audio recorder of sorts, um, microphone, whatever, or uh, really being good at selecting those frequencies and getting them out of there because you're going to find that there's a lot of noise that happens. That's it though. I mean, like basic review, it works good. Things are smooth. Um, I can move around and it's pretty smooth. I mean, I mean, that's what it's supposed to do and it does what it's supposed to do. I really like it. It's absolutely fantastic. Really. Um, the only thing is the, the motor noise that I can't hear. It's not audible it only shows up in post. So I'm feeling like it's a frequency thing rather than a vibration thing. Um, I guess the only other complaint would be the GoPro mount doesn't fit all the way in. So you don't get an actual balanced setup when you're, uh, when you're trying to balance. So it's gonna, um, it's gonna put more wear on the motors. They're gonna heat up more, etc. I mean, not that it matters right now because it's cold as butts out here. <laughs> But I mean, that, that is something to consider. Um, other than that, I think this thing's fantastic. I highly recommend getting one if you're just gonna be running around shooting stuff with a GoPro or your smartphone. It's super inexpensive, super good. And with the Evo, um, you're talking about, I mean, it's, it's basically a Zion. Um, it's the exact same product. It's just been rebranded and it gets support from an American-based company, which is the Evo company, out of, uh, I think they're in Bend, Bend, Oregon. So instead of having to spend $50 to $60 to ship it overseas to China for support um, and repairs and things, you can ship it for, you know, 10, 20 bucks tops if you're in the U.S. to Bend, Oregon and have it back a lot faster. So, and I think that kind of, that, that's really worth it for peace of mind for me. Um, I don't know. So that's it today. A little review of this thing. I'm really happy with it. I hope everybody has a great day. Have a happy Tuesday, enjoy it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.